Hey guys, my name is Caballero and welcome back to Shroud of the Avatar. Today, I'm going to try and reveal the identity of the person who tried to burn down the Solace Bridge Residence Refugee Camp. Looking at my journal, I can see that a few people are somewhat involved in this case as an informant or a witness like Jean who found a strip of red cloth that came from the arsonist. Of course, the main person involved in this case is Raymond because he was the one who chased away the arsonist and prevented the fire from burning the refugee camp to the ground. So the first thing I need to do is check for clues by searching for someone who has a red cloth and this is based on the information provided by Jean. Fortunately, none of the Solace Bridge uh, refugees seem to have any red cloth on them and now I'm going to check or investigate the residents of Salt Town. The town proper of Salt Town is just up ahead but before anything else, take a look at this. As you have seen, player-owned objects and items just instantly appeared out of nowhere and that is what's causing the lag spikes here in Salt Town. I'm now in the town proper of Salt Town and I'm going to start checking the residents of Salt Town to see if any of them has or have a red cloth on them. I'm also going to check the houses and I will also try to talk to some of the residents again just to see if they have new information about the case. Okay, so now I'm going to try and interrogate some of the people here in Salt Town Inn. I've talked to them before but who knows, I might just get lucky talking to them again. Well, it seems that none of them knows anything about the refugee camp arsonist, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't check the rest of the building for clues. Sadly, I didn't find any clues in Salt Town Inn, and I don't think Chad would know anything about the fire nor the arsonist, but I'm still going to give him a coin because the oracle likes it. Now, let's see if Edwin has new information about the refugee camp arsonist. Unfortunately, the only thing he currently cares about is his cotton. Okay, so I tried talking to Martin the Merchant again but he's just repeating what he said to me before. I didn't get any new information but I was able to sell some of my crap to him for a few gold. So talking to Martin was a dud and his place doesn't have any clues that will help me find the refugee camp arsonist. So who do I talk to now? That is the question. Hey 
And look at that, it seems that Harry the Sultan Guard is the one who set the Solace Bridge residence refugee camp on fire and now he is feeling guilty for doing it. Well, he should feel guilty because what he did is wrong and dangerous. As a guard, his job is to protect the people but instead of protecting, he tried to hurt them. So now that I know who caused the fire, the question now is, should I report Harry to Stanley or should I give the information to Raymond? I guess I should give the information to Raymond because he was the one who asked me to find the person who tried to burn down the Solace Bridge residence refugee camp. And look at that, for solving the case of the refugee camp arsonist, I received 7,500 experience needed for skill development. I'm not exactly sure if my decision to give the information to Raymond is the correct decision but at least I was able to discover the truth about the fire and reveal the arsonist or person who caused it. Anyway, I'm going to continue my adventure in Shroud of the Avatar in my next video. If you enjoyed watching me solve the case of the refugee camp arsonist, then please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are playing Shroud of the Avatar and you are lagging badly, then try using WT Fast. WT Fast is not free, but it has a 14 days free trial and that will give you enough time to see if it works for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.